Hi everybody, I'm Priscilla and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys about flooring. So in this space and in this home that we did, we had some really really cool interesting flooring things that we have done which I feel like it's something that a lot of clients ask me or even like me may be wondering about um, what are the different types of flooring that we have and today we're focusing on two main things. So the very first one would be vinyl and the other one would be you know wood flooring in general. So in this house that we got here, um, with the trend of having like herringbone in the space, sometimes the typical wood parquet flooring can actually feel quite expensive and yet at the same time it'll be very hard to maintain. So what you have here is actually a really beautiful herringbone vinyl that comes in this beautiful shade of oak and I chose this colour because I felt like you needed a really neutral space and the 60-30-10 rule in the house decorating is that you always want to keep the space feeling quite spacious and the floor is really about the main part of the space which is the 60% part. The person that I work with is actually Cheryl and she's from Art Floor, the brand and Apple actually brings in this really beautiful like herringbone flooring which I've used here and the one very special feature for them is that they are actually able to use um, vinyl and create this very beautiful um, step down effect a lot of times, I think, in um, when you do vinyl, which is an artificial material, it is not able to kind of like connect it so nicely and have them flush. But I think with her technology and her team, they're able to do this flooring so nicely and smooth, such that it really feels like an like a typical normal wood. There's no need to do any join lines, so it feels really nice and flush. And that I feel is one of the beauty of why I really like working with this material. Uh, what we've done here in this house also was to do the herringbone all the way through into the kitchen area because we wanted it to feel a little bit more snazzy, a little bit more sexy, and a little bit more glamorous. The herringbone actually kind of stops um, over at this zone and then actually then goes step down into the normal um, laying format. So the one tip about you know choosing with flooring is that you need to be also quite clear about the kind of flooring that you will like and then later on telling also um, the, the person that is laying it the direction you want and so when I did it this way exactly how you see the floor is the idea is to create the illusion from the long plank to make this space a lot wider the way and the lines of how the flooring goes really makes the space a lot more different and so you can see that even though this is sort of like a more outdoor concept space the vinyl still works it is kind of water resistant it is very very Sturdy, it's easy to clean at the same time um, you won't have all these scratches issue and the best thing about it is that if you do actually um, damage one part of it you can actually remove it and it's replaceable so the best thing about vinyl is really that awesome part that it is like a not permanent you don't need to send the whole space like a typical um, wood flooring this was actually the original staircase in this house and it actually was looking very dated it had that very orangey very reddish kind of wood tone and it didn't feel very modern so we wanted to refresh the whole space so initially we thought okay how about just staining the entire floor so these are all natural wood as you can tell so what we did was actually just very simple the cheapest way to do it is to really just stain it in the darkest tone ever so we painted and got them to stain this natural wood in a dark tone but then we thought hey actually when we send down this uh, actual wood floor for the stairs the original color was just so beautiful and this is one thing that um, Cheryl was able to help me create which was to then retain the original beauty of the stairs and so previously when we were kind of standing here and this area here was actually this really cool and big um, rooftop and so what we have done here was to actually create this beautiful nice skylight zone instead of having it in like a normal painted wall or like just a laminate or whatever we went with this beautiful natural wood um, like sort of cladding with this floor and the master suite, I really wanted very much to have a space that feels very sexy, very dark. And so I actually chose this gorgeous black vinyl. I don't know if you have trouble finding black vinyl, but I do. And the reason is because if the black vinyl is kind of like, how would I say? If it's kind of like too black, it looks very fake. If it's too shiny, it also looks really bad. But then, if it's done in this very natural grain, as you can see, it's actually really organic. It feels like a real wood. And it's so much more natural and beautiful. So the black is really one of my favorite black and I do recommend that if you're thinking of a black vinyl, you must definitely get the one from her. Here with me today uh, is Cheryl and Rachel from Upflow and I have some questions about vinyl which I think they're going to be able to answer me and I believe some of you would have some burning questions too. Hi guys, thanks for joining me. So can I just check what really exactly is vinyl? Vinyl is actually a 
made out of pure virgin vinyl and it's actually rubber material Oh, rubber. that's interesting! I always thought it was plastic It's actually not plastic Ah, cool So, uh, for, our, for our vinyl, it's actually uh, filage free Safe for the whole family Okay, cool. And it's BPA free wow. And importantly, it's waterproof Vinyl is actually warm to the feet oh. So it's very very comfortable yeah. And it's not like laminate floor, it's actually cold to the feet Ah, okay, so yeah, the thing is that it's not hollow, it's at the same time it still feels very grounded, it feels like a real wood really, Correct. but then yeah, it's very easy to maintain. So you can kind of use vinyl not only in bedrooms, right? Can you use it in kitchens too? Yes, of course, kitchen. So we just uh, have a dry kitchen, is fine. Okay. And uh, it's easy to maintain and easy yes. to clean. The one thing that I really love about your product is actually, which I've done quite a few research in different places, is the skirting. So can you guys tell me a bit more about the skirting, the special skirting that you guys have? Yeah, so for skirting, we actually use um, the vinyl colour itself, so um, it's 100% matching and we actually customise the size that is required for the project basis. For our vinyl, we actually ask, specifically ask the factory to just customise to 4mm. Okay. In the market, uh, many people are using 5mm, yeah. we use 4mm uh, because uh, many times when we do overlay yeah. in uh, our current houses, yeah. uh, with a slightly thinner material yeah. without <coughs> affecting the quality of yes. the performance, yes. uh, it's it helps to uh, do an easy overlay ah. so then there is no need for trim, to trim the doors yeah. and uh, then it saves costs Yeah, another key thing that I wanted to find out is like how do we protect like vinyl floors? Okay, we are able to recommend to the owner so therefore uh, with the crystal solar coating it helps to cut UV rays by up to 100% for this house it reduced up to 29% okay. and then for the IR is 90% Okay So with the, with the reduced uh, reduction in the yeah. UV rays and IR, yeah. it helps to uh, effectively protect the f flooring, the furniture from uh, extreme heat yeah. and then prevents the furniture from fading. Oh, the mm. colour right? From yes. fading. So, right. so this solar thing seems to kind of work for not only vinyl but it, does it also work for normal natural wood yeah. flooring? It's, it's, so, it's even better for ah, wood for flooring. I see, okay. Okay, for uh, this product, we actually gave 15 years manufacturer warranty. Oh, that's quite and, long. And, uh, the best part is there's no peeling, there's no shrinking and the, it, there's no bubbling. Important part is, is there is no plastics. So with no plastics, no metal and no adhesive, it's actually very safe. Very safe. No yeah. VOC. There's okay. no any non-toxic. Great. Okay. Therefore, it's something that every homeowner will actually uh, want to look for. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. I didn't know about that, but thanks for sharing. And I and I mean, I definitely can feel it's cooling, even though we're surrounded by so much sunlight in this home, definitely. Yeah, because of the reduce in the heat and UV, it actually uh, allows the room to cool faster, therefore it actually use much less energy. Oh. So it's actually energy saving, so it goes to cost savings. Oh, brilliant. Thank you so much, guys, for sharing so much with me. I had so much fun with you guys in this project. Thank, Thank you. you. I hope you learned as much as I did about flooring from Cheryl and Rachel from Up Floor. And didn't we even know that like we need to protect our floors? That was something really new for me. And I hope you gained uh, valuable insights just like I did. Thank you for watching. Bye!